All right, you guys, so it is Sunday, December the 4th. It's about 8, 10 a.m. in the morning. I am here at Sacred Garden Yoga. Cindy from Sacred Garden Yoga, she is on my channel a lot. She's a friend of mine. I've known her for a long time now. Before YouTube even started, this is the front room with all the fun, oops, can you guys see that? All the fun toys that she has. She has this really cool, magical stuff here. This is my favorite table. She's got all the pendulums, all the deities here. Everything, she's got tarot cards, sage, all sorts of fun stuff, jewelry, all sorts of fun stuff. This is where um, Stephanie just got her uh, attunement for Reiki level one and two. And um, yeah, so Cindy volunteered today. My class starts in about 20 minutes. I've got a packed class. My schedule is already packed out. So she volunteered though to allow me to film her practicing today um, for you guys. So you can see her in action. Here's our puja table. I actually got this for Cindy in India years ago, long before YouTube. Um, little, her little Ganesh right there. There's the backyard. Hear the train. This house over here, this, I don't know if you guys can see that, that little red house. Maybe it looks better coming from over here. Oh no, there's a fence there. <laughs> this little red house over here, that's called the Watermelon House. It's an Airbnb house. And actually, the woman who owns the Watermelon House is a subscriber of Esoteric Atlanta. So if you want to come into Marietta and do a course with Cindy, Cindy has a ton of courses. I'll put a link to her website again on the um, in the description box. So you can come and stay in the Watermelon House, which is legitimately right next door. Right next door. So Marietta is in the suburbs of Atlanta. It used to be its own little small town back in the day, but because Atlanta is such a huge city now, Marietta is now kind of a part of it. It's the suburbs, but Marietta has a historic downtown. This building, this that uh, this little brick and mortar shala or mystery school rather that Cindy runs, um, I believe used to be a house. It looks like it used to be a house. Um, yeah, and it's got in a really cool neighborhood. I'll kind of open the door here for you guys to see. See the outside? There's a little coffee shop right over there. Oh, the little prayer cloth here. I don't know if you guys can see that. I got that for Cindy in India as well. So yeah, this is the neighborhood. Y'all can see. So if you're ever in Marietta, you want to come to a legit shala, a legit mystery school, this is the place to be. I only teach on Sundays. So I only have the Ashtanga class on Sundays, but Cindy has all sorts of teachers here, all sorts of sessions going on. Look, you can even get, I don't know if I showed you guys this, you can even get your, your little rocks here. Um, and again, more tarot cards, more oracle cards that Cindy has. So, so yeah, thank you to Cindy for volunteering to practice for you guys. Inhale, arms up, eyes to the thumbs. Dway, exhale. 
forward fold. Three, inhale, head up. Chatwadi, exhale, jump or step back, lower down. Pancha, inhale, upward facing dog. Shot, exhale, downward facing dog. Five breaths. One. Two. Three. Four. And five. Sapta. Inhale. Come forward. Head up. Ashtal. Exhale. Fold. Nava. Inhale. Arms up. Eyes to the thumbs. Exhale, hands by your side, three zero position, Sama Siti Hi. Ekam inhale, arms up, eyes to the thumbs. Dwe exhale, forward fold. Tree inhale, head up. Chatwadi exhale, jump or step back, lower down. Bancha inhale, up dog. Shot exhale, down dog. Five breaths here. One, tuck your chin in, look towards your navel. Two, three, four, and five. Sapta, inhale, come forward, head up. Ashtau, exhale, fold. Nava, inhale, arms up, eyes to the thumbs. Exhale, Sama Siti Hi. <coughs> Ekam, inhale, arms up, eyes to the thumbs. Dwe, exhale, forward, fold. Tree, inhale, head up. Chatwadi, exhale, jump forward, step back, lower down. Pancha, inhale, upward facing dog. Shot, exhale, downward facing dog. Five breaths. This is your third sun salutation. So really spread the fingers out. Press into every tip of your finger. Press into your heels. Even if your heels don't touch the floor, keep pressing down through the heels. Tuck your chin in. Look towards the navel. Pull the belly in. Waking up your bandhas. It's the whole point of the beginning part of this practice is waking up the bandhas. That's two. Three. Four. And five. Sapta, inhale, come forward, head up. Ashtau, exhale, fold. Nava, inhale, arms up, eyes to the thumbs. Exhale, hands by your side, Sama Siti Hi. Ekam, inhale, arms up, eyes to the thumbs, first vinyasa. Dwe, exhale, forward fold, second vinyasa. Tree, inhale, head up, third vinyasa. Chatwadi, exhale, jump or step back, fourth vinyasa. Pancha, inhale, dog, fifth vinyasa. Shot, exhale, down dog, sixth vinyasa, five breaths here. One, two, three, four, and five. Sapta, inhale, come forward. Vinyasa. Ashtau, exhale, fold, eighth vinyasa. Nava, inhale, arms up, eyes to the thumbs, ninth vinyasa. Exhale, hands by your side, so the CTH last time. Ekam, inhale, arms up, eyes to the thumbs. Dwe, exhale, forward fold. Tree, inhale, head up. Chatwa, exhale, jump or step back, lower down. Pancha, inhale, up dog. 
Shut, exhale, down dog, five breaths. Alright, so press up to your hands and then um, push your hips back, inhale. Exhale, good. One. Two. Exhale, hands to the mat, step back and lower, 12 vinyasa. 
Trayavada Shai, inhale up dog, 13th vinyasa. Chaturvada Shai, exhale down dog, 14th vinyasa, five breaths here. So once again, vinyasa means choreographed movement with breath. So on purpose, movement with breath. So there are nine vinyasas in Surya Namaskar A. There are 17 vinyasas in Surya Namaskar B. Always starting at point zero position in Samasitihi, like you are drawing a graph. You are the architect, creating these shapes, drawing these lines throughout your practice. And once again, this is the last time, you will be a downward facing dog for five breaths for the duration of the practice. So really plug in here, spread the fingers apart, press into your heels. See if you can lengthen your arms by protracting your shoulders while also separating the shoulder blades Warming up the serratus interior for the jump backs and jump throughs that are to come. Pull the belly in, look towards the navel. That's four. And that's five. Punch it a shot, inhale, come four. Head up, 15th vinyasa. Show the shot, exhale, full, 16th vinyasa. Suck to the shot, bend your knees, arms up, eyes to the thumbs, 17th vinyasa. Exhale, hands by your side, Sama CTE for the middle sequencing. Hana Kushtasana, Ekam, inhale, jump or step your feet, hip width apart. Catch your big toes, thumb touches the index finger, closing off the mudra. And then Dwe, exhale, folding. Your drishti is at your nose. Once again, the main point of forward folding is not your hamstrings. Even though that might be the sensation that you're predominantly feeling, the point of the forward fold is your digestive system. So pull the belly up even more. And as you start to pull down to more from the sun salutations, as you start to pull the belly in more, can you drop even further into this forward fold? That's three. Four. And five, tree inhale, head up, hold it here, exhale. Pada Hastasana, eight, inhale, hands up to your feet. Pull your toes up towards your shins. And then Dwe, exhale, fold. So you've got a cycle of energy happening here through the palms of the hands and the soles of the feet. If you are strong enough, if you are at that point in your practice where you can start to move a little deeper into this, start to bring your body weight forward as you simultaneously pull your toes up even more. Big toe connects to Malabanda, arch of the foot connects to Uddiyama Banda. Pull the belly in, one. And the whole point of this fundamental sequence again is those bandas. That's two, three, four, and five. Tree, inhale, head up, exhale. Stand all the way back up. Jump or step your feet back together. Sama CTE point zero position. Utita triple nasana A. Inhale, step the right foot out. Right foot comes to a 90 degree angle. That's a 45 degree angle. And then joy exhale, catch your right big toe. If you cannot touch your toe without bending your knee, then catch your shin, you want straight legs here. Thumb touches the index finger around that right big toe, press into your right big toe, pull against it. See if you can recognize that chain of energy coming up the inner thigh. Again, that's the acceleration of Molabanda. Pull the belly in, left arm extended up as strong, looking towards that left thumb. That's three. Four. And five, tree, inhale, standing all the way back up, changing size. Chat wadi, exhale, catch your left toe. Once again, if you can catch the toe, thumb touches the index finger. Press into your left toe now, big toe, and pull against it, activating that inner thigh, that chain of energy, that pathway of energy into the perineum. Belly in, right arm is strong, looking towards your right thumb. That's three, four, and five. Pancha inhale, standing up, changing sides for B. Utita Trikonasana B. Square your hips and then Dway exhale. Left hand comes to the floor. Inside the foot, on the foot, or outside of that right foot. Once you're in your, your, your secure, you're in your twist, Start to pull the right hip back, and then reach your chest away from your leg, deepening the twist. Marie Chasana D is coming. One. Two. 
three, four, and five, tree inhale, standing up, changing sides. Jack Y, exhale, right hand to the floor, inside on or outside of that left foot. Once again, once you're secure in your twist, pull the left hip back, and then pull the chest away from that leading leg. Deep in that twist. We always twist right first, because our ascending colon is on the right side of our body. So once again, we don't want to constipate ourselves. That's three. Four. And five, punch, inhale, standing up. Exhale, step four to the front of your mat. Point zero, position, sama, CTE. Udita Pars, Pramasana, A, and inhale, step the right foot wider this time. Deep lunge, 90 degree angle into that right knee. And then Dway, exhale, bring your right hand to the floor, pinky toe side of the foot. If you can get the full palm to the floor, go ahead and do that. And then press away from the floor as you lengthen that left arm up and over the head. So the lower body is, the right side of the body is creating fire while the left side of the body is opening. And then feel the opposing forces of the left pinky toe pressing into the floor while the left hand stretches away from the body as the ribs start to open. The ribs are supposed to open. For many adults, they don't open. They did at one point when you were a kid. That's three. Four. And five, three, inhale, standing up, changing sides, putting a lunge into that left leg now, leaning into that fire, and then left hand to the floor, pinky toe side, and get the full hand to the floor, go ahead and do so, as you're creating that fire on the left side of the body, press into the right pinky toe, extend the right arm up and over, opening up the ribs on the right side as that fire is coming out from that left side. That's two. Three, four, and five, punch it, inhale, standing up, changing sides for B. Do a exhale. So for my students who are taking the full twist, go ahead and pop up to the ball of your left foot, hook your armpit over the knee, bring the hand to the floor once you've got that set, bring the left hip heel down to the floor, and then bring that arm up and over. I think you can do this now, Lisa. There we go. Because once again, Marie Jocelyn D is coming. One. Two. Three. Four. And five. Trini inhale, standing up, changing sides. Jack body, exhale, take your twist. So this is a very complicated twist because once again, Marie Jocelyn D is coming, right? So, pop up onto the ball of the back foot. Get that armpit securely over that knee and bring that back heel down. Good. So much is happening in the hips here, right? One. A twist and a hip opener all at the same time. Wow. That's two. That's three, four, and five, punch, inhale, standing up, exhale, step forward to the front of your mat, sum is DTK, point zero position, press your hands to your waist, inhale, inhale, step the right foot out, pigeon toe your feet, and then dway, exhale, fold, hands to the floor, pressing into those big toes, Inhale, head up, lengthen your spine. Tree, exhale, fold. So think about the back of your head, not the top of your head, the back of your head, bringing the back of your head to the mat, and then pulling your torso through your legs. So let me bring your hands to like right here. You got space there, girl. Good. One. You got space too. Alicia. Come back even more. Yes, two. Lots of core here, lots of inner thigh here. That's three. Four. And five. Touch body. Inhale. Head up. Hold your exhale. 
Pancha, inhale, catch your waist standing up. Exhale. Inhale, inhale, arms out to the side. Dwe, exhale, catch your waist. Inhale. Trini, exhale, fold, tuck your chin in. Now, without the help of your hands, back of the head to the mat and pull your torso through your body. Or go on that trajectory. Your body might not move right now, but if you start thinking about it, right? That's where it starts. It all starts in thought. That's one. Two. Three. Four. And five, touch one, inhale, coming all the way back up. Hold it here, exhale. Eight, and inhale, arms out to the side. Dwe, exhale, clasp your hands behind your back, inhale. And then tree, exhale, fold. Yes, again. There you go, good. One. Two. Three. Four, and five, touch body, inhale, coming all the way back up. Hold it here, exhale. Inhale, inhale, catch your waist. Dwe, exhale, fold, catch your toes. Thumb touches the index finger, inhale, head up. And then Trini, exhale, tuck your chin in, back of your head to the mat. So once again, that active core, one, we're still in the fundamental sequence. We haven't even started primary series yet. This is still, in gym terms, this is still your warm-up. That's two. Three. Four. And five, touch one, inhale, hold your head, exhale here. Punch, inhale, catch your waist standing up. Exhale, step forward to the front of your mat. Some is easy heat. All right, hands behind your back. Either taking prayer position or catching your elbows, depending on where your mobility is in this here now moment. And you inhale, step the right foot back. Turn to face the back of the room. Square your hips. And then do exhale, fold, chin to the shin. As you fold, once again, press into your right big toe. Drop the chin in. Once you get to that place where you cannot fold anymore, shift your body weight forward. We are preparing this. Obviously, every posture in the yoga sequencing can stand on its own as its own independent posture. But the beautiful thing about this series is that every posture builds on the next. This is literally preparing you for the next posture, which is the first posture of primary series. So pull the belly in. That's three, four, and five. Three, inhale, standing up, turn around, face me from the room. Chatwadi, exhale, fold, press into that left big toe now. Once you get to that point where you cannot fold anymore, shift your body weight forward, stimulate and activate the muscles in that leading leg that you're going to need when you're in the next posture. Isn't that cool? How much it's preparing you for the next posture? That's three. Four. And five, punch, inhale, standing up, exhale, step forward to the front of your mat. Some is he. Okay, now we're at the first posture of the primary series. Utida Hasta, Hanagushtasana, left hand to your waist, eight, inhale, catch your right big toe with your peace fingers. Thumb touches the index finger, and then do exhale, fold, point the toe, pull against it, stimulating the inner thigh. That's one. Two, three, four, and five. Trini, inhale, head up. Chetwadi, exhale, leg out to the side. Keep pointing that toe, pulling against it. Feel the activation in the inner thigh, and then look over your left shoulder. Keep your eyes up. The eyes are the tops of the spine. They're the tops of Shashuna. So keep it up, keep the energy coming up. One, two, three, four, and five. Bring that foot back to center, exhale, fold. 
Inhale, head up, hands to your waist, point your toe, balance. Stand up straight. If you find yourself rocking backwards, that means the core is weak. We want a, a strong core. This is Navasana right here. There you go. That's three, four, and five. Samasitihi, changing sides. Ashtau, inhale, catch your left big toe. Point that toe, pull against it. And then Nava, exhale, fold chin to the shin. One, two, three, four, and five. Dasha, inhale, head up. Ekarasha, exhale, leg out to the side. Keep pointing that toe. Look over that right shoulder, eyes up. One, two, three, four, and five. Ekarasha, inhale, foot to center. Dwarasha, exhale, fold. Treyodasha, inhale, head up. Chaturasha, point the toe, balance. One, two, three, four, and five. Sama Siddhi, Ardhavada, Padmottanasana, Ekam, inhale, catch the right foot into your left hip. Now take that arm around if you can catch your foot. You're free to fold. If you cannot catch your foot, or if you're dealing with or contending with an energy, just stay standing. If you're folding, Dway, exhale, fold. One. Two. So this is a counter pose to the pose you just did. That's three. Four. And five, tree, inhale, head up, hold it here, exhale. Chatwa, inhale, standing up. Punch, exhale, leave your legs, Sama CTE, changing side, left side, shot, inhale, catch your left foot. And then if you're folding, Sapta, exhale, fold. Again, if you cannot catch your foot or if you've got some knee issues going on, just stay standing. Can't catch your foot. Typically, that means there's not enough movement in the knee. So we want to honor that. That's three, four, and five. Ash down. Inhale. Head up. Hold it here. Exhale. Nava. Inhale. Standing up. Dasha. Exhale. Samasitihi. Ekam. Inhale. Arms up. Eyes to the thumbs. Dwe, exhale, forward fold. Tree, inhale, head up. Chatwani, exhale, jump or step back, lower down. Pancha, inhale, up dog. Shat, exhale, down dog. Now, suck to inhale, Utkatasana, five breaths. Jump or step to the front of your mat. Zip your legs together. Arms up, eyes to the thumbs. One. Open the chest, two, challenge the breath. This is preparing you for back bends. Three. Four. And five, exhale, fold. Ashtau, inhale, head up. Nava to 20, jump back. Dasha, inhale, up the Ekarasha, exhale, down dog, Varadrasana, A, Sapta, inhale, right foot forward, back heel grounds down, arms up, eyes to the thumbs, lunge into that front leg, lead into the fire, one, channeling our Jane Fonda, feel the burn, two, everyone's a guru, three, Four. And five, straight the front leg, turn around, face the back of the room, ash bow, exhale, deep lunge. One. Get uncomfortable. You came here on purpose to be uncomfortable. That's your, that's your power. You did this on purpose. That's two. 
three, four, and five. Open out there, draw some of the beads to the back of the room. One, two, three, four, and five. Changing sides. Dasha, exhale to the front of the room. Very good. Rest the beat. One. Relax the face. No muscles in your face are going to help you. That's two. Three. Four. And five, eight, cut a shot, inhale, plank position. Dwarva Shai, exhale, Chaturanga. Dwarva Shai, inhale, up dog. Dwarva Shai, exhale, down dog. If you want to use blocks, you're more than welcome to. If not, just do your best. Here we go. Bend your knees, soft to inhale, jump through, straight legs, sit down. Dandasana. So flex the feet, internally rotate the legs, in together, zip them up, pull the belly in. Pull your chin in. Hands by the hips. So this is a neutral posture. This is the seated Samasiti heat. Think about the top of your head, the crown of your head, all the way down to your flexed big toes. A cycle of energy moving through the body, neutralizing everything. One, so we're about to change directions in a big way in this practice. Two, there's so much intelligence in this practice. Three, four, and five, Paschimottanasana, Yashka, inhale, catch your big toes, thumbs touch the index fingers, and then exhale, fold to make sure you're not yanking with your arms, but rather folding. Again, the purpose of a forward fold is primarily your digestive system. Hamstrings might be the thing that you feel the most. The more you pull the stomach in, the deeper you're going to fold. They work together. The body is always working together as a group. That's three, four, and five. Inhale, head up, hold it, your exhale. Now, ash down again. Either stay where you are, if this is as far as you can go, or catch the sides of your feet. Or if you're taking a full mudra, you're catching your left wrist with your right hand, making a fist with the left hand, and coming around the balls of the feet. Once again, we want to be on the upper part of the foot. We only drop our hands to the ground for Instagram, nothing else, okay? The practice is at the top of the feet. Why? Because of reflexology. You have pressure points at the top of your feet that connect to your respiratory system. One, then you're able to catch the full bind around the tops of the feet. You can very easily get your hands to the floor, so there's no difference in flexibility between the two points, but we want to keep the point up because of that pressure point, that, that respiratory pressure point. That's three, four, and five. Dasha, inhale, head up, hold it here, exhale. Well, if you're using your blocks, grab your blocks. If not, here we go. Ekadasha, inhale, cross your legs on the inhale, lift up. And then Dwadasha, exhale, take it back. Chaturanga. Trebodasha, inhale, up dog, take the back bend. Here's your flush. Exhale, down, facing dog. Purvatanasana, sapta, inhale. Bend your knees, jump through, straight legs, sit down. Hands come behind your bottom fingers, facing towards your bottom. Step your legs together, press into your big toes. Inhale, lift up, lift the hips up, pull the belly in. So many people, including myself, try to push the belly out. Again, in New Jersey, they say the higher Texas, is it? The higher the hair, the closer to God. I guess some people in Ashtanga think the bigger the belly, the closer to God. No, pull the belly in. That's one. This imposter looks so easy, but it's so damn hard. Two, really protract over the chest, stretch the throat. Three, activate the legs, keep pressing into the big toe. Four, and five, exhale. Dasha, inhale, use the inhale, cross your legs, lift up. Ekadasha, exhale, jump back. Dwadasha, inhale, upward facing dog, take the back bend, drop the head back, look at your nose, exhale, downward facing dog, Ardhavada Padma Paschimottanasana, 
Suck to inhale, jump through. We did this standing. We did a standing version of this. Now we're doing a seated version of this. Take your right foot, bring it into your hip. Arch of the foot acts as a bowl for the belly. Reach the right arm around. See if you can catch the foot. If you cannot catch the foot, that's no big deal. Just keep your hand over that kidney. All the lines in primary series are over the kidney. Left hand comes to the pinky toe side of the foot. And then Ashtab exhale, fold. One. Two. Three. Four, and five. Now by inhale, head up, hold it here, exhale. We got a flush because we're changing sides. Dasha, inhale, cross your legs, lift up. Ekasha, exhale, take it back. Dwadasha, inhale, up dog. Triodasha, exhale, down dog. Changing sides, Tatodasha, inhale, jump through. Now catching the left side into the right hip. So once again, the left and the right side of your body carry two different energies. We got a flush between each side in order to flush the energy so we're not pulling karma from one side into the other side, making things a little bit more difficult. Punch it a shot, exhale, fold. One. Two. Three. Four, and five, shoulder shy, inhale, head up, exhale. Sakta Nisha, cross your legs, lift up. Ashtada Nisha, exhale, take it back. Ekona Vimshadithi, inhale, upward facing dog, take the back bend, this is your counter pose. Vimshadithi, exhale, downward facing dog. Tere Nuke, Ekapada, Paschimottanasana, Sakta, inhale, jump through. Right leg back, left leg extends. And then ash down, exhale, fold. If you're taking the full posture, you're catching your right wrist with your left hand, again, coming over the ball of the foot, where that, those buttons are for your respiratory system. One, lots happening in this posture, yeah? Some hip, hip stuff's going on, super awkward. That's two. In the second series, you do this again. In a posture called Pranchasana with the leg lifted up. That's three, four, and five. Now inhale, head up, hold it here, exhale. Dasha, inhale, use the inhale, lift up, cross your legs. Ekadasha, exhale, take it back. Dwadasha, inhale, up dog. Trayodasha, exhale, down dog. Chitona Shai inhale, jump through, changing sides, right leg extends back, left leg comes forward. Now if you're taking the full fold, you're catching your left wrist with your right hand and making a fist with the left hand. You're always catching the arm that's inside the posture, pulling that spinal cord over your femur bone. That's one. Two. Three, four, and five. Shoulder shot, inhale, head up, exhale. Suck to the shot, cross your legs, lift up. Ashtada shot, exhale, take it back. Ekona vim shudahi, inhale, up dog, over the chest. Vim Shuddhi, exhale, downward facing dog. John Yu Shurchasana A, Sapta, inhale, jump through. This is the quarter primary series mark. So this is a posture of neutrality. Quarter primary series, half primary series, three quarter primary series, into the primary series, always into the neutral posture. So this is the quarter primary series. Pulling the right foot in, creating that 90 degree angle. See if you can get your spine to pull over to that femur bone, catching the right wrist this time with the left hand because it's inside the posture. See if you can start to feel an opening happening in the back of the right sits bone. So not only are we neutralizing yourself, but you're getting ready to change directions once again in the practice. Things are about to get even more interesting. That's three. So we're resetting the body, preparing the body. That's four. And that's five, ash down, or excuse me, Nava, inhale, head up, exhale. 
Dog shot, inhale, cross your legs, lift up, use the inhale. Exhale, take it back. Inhale, up dog. Trayota shot, exhale, down dog. Chitoya shot, inhale, jump through, changing sides. Now the left leg pulls in, creating a 90 degree angle. And if you're taking the full extent of the, of the folds, you're catching your left wrist with your right hand. Pulling that spine over that femur bone, maybe you start to feel that opening happening in the back of the left sits bone. And if you think about the postures we have to come, you start to understand why. Right? We've got the reach asanas coming very soon. We're preparing that. That's three. Four. And five. Shoulder shine, inhale, head up, exhale. Self to the shot, cross your legs, lift up. Ah, shot a shot, exhale, take it back. E kona vim shudahi, inhale, up dog. Vim shudahi, exhale, down dog. Janyu shrashasana, B, sapta, inhale, jump through. So once again, we're going to pull the right leg in to that 90 degree angle, then lift up and sit on the heel. And as you sit on the heel, it's going to change from a 90 degree angle to a 45 degree angle. Super awkward. I promise you, I will not hands on adjust you in this posture. Get very comfortable with your heel. Basically, you're kicking yourself in your own ass. Here we go. One. Two. Three. Four. And five. Now inhale, head up. Exhale. Dasha, inhale. Cross your legs. Lift up. Ekarasha, exhale, take it back. Dwarasha, inhale, up dog, open the chest. Trayodasha, exhale, down dog. Chitorasha, inhale, jump through, changing sides. Once again, pull that left foot in, lift up, sit on the heel. So you're going from 90 degree angle to a 45 degree angle. And then Panchadasha, exhale, fold. So, so much information is available in this, in this posture. At least for me it is when I do this posture. You're going to feel probably feel a pretty big difference between the right leg and the left leg. That's okay. That's normal. Just observe it. That's one. I don't know anybody who has the same reaction from both sides of their body. That's two. Because they're both different energies, right? That's three. Four. And five. Shoulder shine, inhale, head up. Hold it here, exhale. Suck the shot with excitement. Inhale, lift up. I know you're getting tired. Ah, got a shot. Exhale, take it back. Ek wanna be to the knee. Inhale, up dog. Vim to the knee. Exhale, down dog. John, you sure shots in a C. One of the advanced postures of the primary series. Inhale, jump through. Twisting your ankle if you're ready for it. If you've got some knee issues going on, you're going to modify by just doing A again. Here we go. Exhale, fold. If you're in the full posture, the heel is pressing into the belly while that toe that's really screaming at you right now is a pressure point for your kidney. It's all about the kidneys and all the vines here. That's one. How cool is that? You're also working on getting your putting your leg behind your head in this posture by opening up the knee and the hip. That's two through the ankle. That's three, four, and five. Now I'm going to help that up. Exhale. Da sha yinka, cross your legs, lift up. E pa sha, exhale, take it back. Dwa sha yinka, up dog. Tre oda sha, exhale, down dog. Chito oda sha yinka, jump through, changing sides. Left leg, twisting the ankle. And as you fold, punch it a shot, exhale. Well, once again, the heel is pressing into that navel as the toe presses into the floor. And as the hip and knee start to open more. That's three. Once again, this is an advanced posture. So it's supposed to be difficult. Even the beginning posture, primary posture, is supposed to be difficult. 
There should be some challenge there. That's four. And that's five. Show the shot, inhale, head up, exhale. Self to the shot, cross your legs, lift up. Arsh, gotta shy, exhale, take it back. Ekona, vim chutahi, inhale, up dog. Vim chutahi, exhale, down dog. Lombardi Chasana, A, Sapta, inhale, jump through. Extend the left leg out, stand on your right foot. Make sure the right foot is not glued to the inner thigh, but out to the side. Keep that left leg that's extended nice and flexed, and internally rotate your right arm. Bring it around the shin, reach behind your back, catch your hand right over those kidneys. Keep that left leg folded. Exhale, fold, chin to the shin. We're moving in that trajectory. One. So we have forward fold and a hip opener happening. This is basically Ekapanda Shrikshasana, one leg behind the head pose. This is what this is, a variation of it. Two. All you need to do is to take that shin behind your head. And there you go, you're in Ekapanda Shrikshasana. Three. Four, and five, Nava, inhale, head up, exhale. Dasha, inhale, cross your legs, lift up. Ekasha, exhale, take it back. Dwadasha, inhale, up dog. Trayamudasha, exhale, down dog. Chitodasha, inhale, jump through, changing side. So I said what's here and book it. Ekapada, Shoshasana, that that was a variation of Kratchasana in second series. Well, Marichyasana A, that next step is Ekapada, Shoshasana in second series. It's bringing that, that shin behind the head. So you are seeing how this builds in stages. But on its own, it's still, it's, it's, it's a posture on its own as well. And then punch it a shot, exhale, fold. One. Two. Three, four, and five. Show the shine, inhale, head up, exhale. Suck to the shot, cross your legs, lift up. Ash, down the shine, exhale, take it back. Ekona, vim chutahi, inhale, up dog. Vim chutahi, exhale, down dog. Mari Chasana B, Sapta, inhale, jump through. So if you're taking the full posture, you're taking the left foot into your right hip, half Padmasana, and you're modifying due to the issues, then you're bringing the foot under the right sits bone. Standing on that right leg, lifting the right hip bone up, and then taking the same bind, internally rotating the arm, reaching it behind. Again, all the binds in primary series happen around the kidney. And then exhale, fold chin to the floor, Looking forward, so stretching the, the neck forward between the foot and the knee. That's one. Two. Three. Touch. There we go. Good. Four. And five. Good. Nava, inhale, head up. Exhale. Dasha, inhale, cross your legs, lift up. Ekarasha, exhale, take it back. Dwarasha, inhale, up dog. Trayodasha, exhale, down dog. Chitodasha, inhale, jump through, changing sides. So now the right foot comes into the left hip, half padmasana, or under the left sits bone, standing on the left leg, lift that hip bone up. And then same thing. So A, Marichasana A and B are four folds. Marichasana C and D are twists. The base of A and C are the same. The, ace of, uh, the base of B and D are also the same. One. Good, there you go. Two. That's it. Three. Four. Four and a half. And five. Shoulder shot, inhale, head up. Exhale. Suck to the shawl, cross your legs, lift up. Ashtada shot, exhale, take it back. Ekona, baby, shoot the heat, inhale, up dog. 
Breathing through the exhale, down dog. Mari Chasa to C. Sapta, inhale, jump through. So we're going to set our base up just like A. So extend the left leg out, stand the right leg. Now instead of taking a forward fold, we're going to twist. So if you're not, if you're new to the practice and you're not ready to bind yet, just work on the twist. If you are binding, bring that arm around that leg, catch hands, flex the left foot. One, keep looking over that left shoulder. So remember, the eyes are the tops of the spine. That's two. Three. Four. And five. Good. Exhale, release. Ash down. Inhale, lift up. Nine to twenty. Jump back. Dust shot. Inhale, up dog. Inhale, <laughs> exhale, down dog. You are shine, now jump through, changing sides. Send the right leg out, stand on the left leg. Same thing, you're internally rotating the arm if you're taking it out. You're not biting yet again. The whole point of a twist is the actual twist. Many people in Ashtanga will dislocate their arms just to catch the bind. No, no, no. Take things in stages. Good. Flex that extended leg, that's your foundation, and look over your right shoulder now, because eyes are the tops of the spine, keeping that energy going in that direction. One, the neck is also part of that spine, part of that twist. That's two, three, four, and five. Good, exhale, release. Cross your legs, inhale, lift up. Exhale, take it back. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. No reach us in a D. Dun, dun, dun. Here we go. Stop to inhale, jump through another advanced posture. Again, kid you not, people write blogs about this sucker. All right. Right foot, or left foot rather, comes into the left hip. Just like reach us in a D, or under the left, or under the right sits bone. Lift that right butt cheek up. If you're not binding yet, just work on the twist. You can buy Alicia. You got this. Ooh, you got me to buy it this time. It's okay. In front of your right arm. Exhale. Yep. Bend your elbow. Yes, there you go. See? Good. <coughs> Easy for you. Look at that. One. Two. It's your mind that tells you you can't do it, but your body does it very easily. Three. Four. And five. Good. Exhale, release. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, take it back. And again, listen. Once you bind and breathe, you also take up the special happens, you just bind. Does it make you a better person? You just bind. All right, jump through. Straight legs to death. There are a lot of flexible assholes in the world. All right, it's about the work. That's all it's about, right? Like Krishna tells Arjuna in the Bhagavad Gita, do the work for the sake of the work, not for the fruit of your labor. Which is so contrary to what we're learning, we learn in the Western world. See? Yes, yeah, see? Easy for you. That's easy. That's easy. No, it's easy for you. Good. One. Alright, wait, so here we go. Yes, that's it, that's it, that's it. Good. Two. Hold that back. Yes. Three. Four. And five. Good. Release. Cross your legs. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, take it back. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Here we go. The most important posture of the primary series, Navasana. <laughs> so, inhale, jump your legs up, eyes to the toes. Yes, here we are. If you shake, fantastic. Relax your face. Again, no bundas are in your face. The muscles in your face will not help you. It will just give you wrinkles. One, and Botox is very expensive. Two, three, four, and five. Cross your legs, ash down, inhale, lift up, and then sapta again, navasana, legs up, eyes to the toes, zip the legs together. You are at the top of the mountain right now. You've made it to the top of the mountain. This is where the view is the prettiest. 
One, lean into that burn. That's two, accept where you are. Here you are, look how beautiful this is. Three, look what your body can do. Look at the heat your body can generate. That's four. And that's five. Ashta, inhale, lift up. Septa again. Navasana, legs up, eyes to the toes. Seriously, my teacher in India says this is the most important posture of primary stairs. It's not Parichasana D. It's not Janvishra Chasana. See, it's this. It's this one. Navasana. The posture of navigation. That's what it means. The posture of navigation. One, you're navigating that energy. You're neutralizing yourself as well because we're in a primary series. That's two. Think about that cycle of energy running from the top of your head to the tips of your toes. That's three. Can you feel your inner thighs working? That mola bunda. That's four. And that's five. Cross your legs. Ash down. Now lift up. Sapta again. Navasana. Legs up. Eyes to the toes. I told y'all before, and I'll tell you again at one point back. Many decades ago, they used to make people do a handstand out of this. Thank God they took that out. One. Maybe if you lived in an ashram in India, not you had all day to vote to this fine, but not for us. That's two. What's, what's the purpose of that, right? That's three. Four. And five. Ash, now inhale, lift up. One more time, Sapta again, the fifth time. Here we go. Point the toes and your legs together. One. Two. Neutralizing everything with that hot fire coming from your body. That's three. Remember, you came here this morning on purpose. On purpose. You knew this was coming and you said, I'm doing this. That's four. That's two. <laughs> you got this. This is easy for you. This is so easy for you. That's three. You got you made for this. That's four. And that's five. Good. Ash down. Inhale. Lift up. Nava. Touch body. Jump back. Dasha. Inhale. Dog. Ekadasha, exhale, down dog. So that's the half primary series mark. So we're going to come into the closing, which first we start with our back bending. Urdhva Dhanurasana, Sapta, inhale, jump through, straight legs sit down. So we're going to do five back bends from the floor, and then we're going to use the wall. Okay? So, since we're doing five, if you want to warm up for the first couple of back bends, that's fine. The counter, the counter pose for a back bend is a forward fold. The counter pose for a forward fold is a back bend. We've done a shit ton of forward folding today. So let's counter pose. You also in a very unique position. I'm going to say this again. Back bending is stomach opening. You just did Navasana. You had a lot of fire in your stomach. Now we're going to open it. That's one of the advantages of doing half primary series is you get that experience of going from Navasana, where you're creating fire in the belly, to now opening the belly. And so really experience this today. Really think about that as you open the stomach up. So, ash down, prepare. The Nava inhale, lift up. Strong legs, strong core. That's one. Two. Three. Four. And five, exhale down. Here we go. Number two. Ash down, prepare. Nava, inhale, lift up. One. Really press the hips up. That's two. Good, Harper. That's three. Four. And five. Exhale down. You can continue doing warm ups if you want to. Or if you want to switch to full or put down your ass up. Harper, hold on one second. I'm going to bring you two more blocks, buddy. <laughs> I need a crane. <laughs> <laughs> next life, I want a super... Actually, next life, I said before, I want you yoga. <laughs> All right, try that. Okay, here we go. Number three. Ash down, prepare. Nava, inhale, lift up. Open the stomach. It's about the stomach, right? Open it up. One. Two. 
three, four, and yes, correct, head down, walk the hands in, I love the sounds of a good back bend, all right, inhale, lift up, walk your hands closer, one day catching the ankles, maybe your next life, who cares, one, we're just moving in that direction, right, two, three, four, and five, head down, walk your hands in, last time, inhale, lift up, open the stomach, one, last time from the floor, lol, two, three, four, and five, good, all right, everybody, Cindy, I'll let you do your thing, and I know the rest of the class that doesn't want to be found. Come to this wall. <laughs> Cindy's very brave. <laughs> All right, you guys. So we're going to work from the wall a little bit just to kind of get you principles of back bending, of stomach opening. So, what tends to happen, my teacher David Green, before I started going to India, he called it the artful dodger. We will artfully dodge the hard work. We don't even know we're doing it. So, what does that look like in a back bend? That looks like the limbo again. So when we're doing the back bend, it's about pushing the hips forward, lengthening that psoas instead of walking the feet forward. Walking the feet forward is not going to get you anywhere, but maybe will make you a superstar in the front house. Okay, so inhale, lengthen your Is it a little? Yeah, you're perfect. A little, a little closer. Yeah, good. Lengthen. Drop your head back first. It's like a slinky. Head goes back first. Push your hips forward and reach for the wall. Once you find your place in the wall, push your chest towards me. Open the chest. So at least you put a little bit of a bend in your knees. Your box and knees are going the opposite direction. I have the same problem. One, challenge the breath. Two, if you feel nauseated, good. You're doing it right. That's three, four, and five. Inhale, come up. Do that two more times. So lengthen the arms without reaching the shoulders up. You're lengthening the arms, lengthening that torso. Drop your head back. Push your hips forward as you start to reach back for the wall. Once you've got the wall, walk down a little bit until you find that place where you can't go anymore. And then press the chest open. One, press your hips forward. Don't move your feet. Move your hips. That's three. Four. And five. And now come up. One more time. Inhale, lengthen the torso. Feel your ribs and your spinal cord start to lengthen as you lift up. Drop your head back. Calm breathing. Push the hips forward. One. Open the chest. You're nice and hot and warm. That's two. Three. Four. And five, inhale, come up. Good job. Okay, sit down on your mat. Take a nice forward fold. If you want to grab a block and place it, the balls of your feet, you can. This is our counter pose. The first couple of breaths are probably going to feel real gross. And then the back release is okay. Here we go. Okay. Exhale. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Closing postures, press your hands into the mat, 
point the toes, zip the legs up, keep your eyes open. Every single muscle in your body is active. Again, think about the top of your head all the way down to your pointed toes, that spiral of energy coming down, neutralizing everything before we come into our closing inversions. One, 10 breaths. This is literally my favorite part of the whole practice. Two, I would, if I could, if I was allowed, I would just do this for an hour, but that's not allowed. That's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Sarvangasana, lying hand, legs up. So use that energy in the legs, lift up. Hands to the lower back. Try to make your legs as straight as possible. If you ever need to modify, you can bring the legs up the wall. Ten breaths, one. Draining that lymphatic system. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And ten. Halasana Nava. Keep pointing your toes. Toenails touch the floor, not the tops of your toes, but your toenails. Zip the legs together. Clasp your hands if you can. Press your hands into the mat. So as your, your to toes are pointed and are actively going in one direction, your hands are pressing in another direction, creating, again, those opposing forces. One, to the lower back once again starts to open. Two. Three. Four. Good, this is a counter pose. One, 
So if I were bringing your arms on your legs, like big as you get them, that's good. Yes, two. So the throat of the chest really can open. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Utan Padasana Nava. Keep your torso and your head as is. Find your Navasana legs and find your arms. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven, eight. Okay, your choice. Either sit up, take a vinyasa, or if you know how to, chakrasana. So anytime we land on our back, we're supposed to chakrasana. We're flipping backwards into chaturanga. But if you have not been taught that yet, or not ready for that transition, then that's okay. Just sit up, take your regular vinyasa. Inhale, up dog. <laughs> Exhale, down dog. Shir shasana. Come to your knees, set your arms up. So even if your feet never come off the mat, I'm gonna reiterate this. I don't care if your feet ever come off the mat, it doesn't matter. What we want is your spine to come upside down. So finding your tripod, forearms to the mat, make sure they're not spread apart. Clasp your hand, place your head into the palms of your hands. Tuck your toes under. If you can lift your feet up, go ahead and lift up into your head. Stand, if not, just stay, pressing the mat away from you with your forearms. As always, traditionally, we want to hold our final headstand for 15 minutes. We don't have that kind of time in a live class. And to be quite frank with you guys, I don't hold this for 15 minutes because who does have that kind of time? So we're going to hold it for 15 breaths. One, on your own practice, if you do want to hold it, start timing yourself. Sometimes we do time ourselves in this. My phone's being used to film right now, so lucky you. That's two, three, calm the breath. That's four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, or stay up or take half pike. 10 breaths, one, pull the belly in, butt reaches out past the head, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Inhale back up. And then exhale slowly come down with control. Keep your head on the mat. This is the one time I kind of laugh about this. <laughs> We're such masochists in Ashtanga. This is the one time that you get to do job position. In all of Ashtanga yoga, right here, this one, this is it. And this is just a recovery. Keep the head down, keep it upside down for quite some time. So we want to make sure all the fluids, the bodily fluids go back. And last, 
Vinyasa, Ekasha, exhale, Chaturanga. Dwadasha, inhale, up dog. Treudasha, exhale, down dog. Closing Udra, soft and inhale, jump through. Straight legs, sit down. Taking your Padmasana position. Or a simple cross-legged position, so right foot first and left foot, or left foot on top, or left foot in front of your one line. Either catching the feet or catching your elbows behind your back, opening up the chest. Exhale, fold. Ten breaths. This is the mudra of Thanksgiving. One. Two. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Yoga Mudra Inhale, sit up. Extend the arms out, spread your fingers out, index finger and thumb together, making that duck bill, not the circle, but the duck bill. Pull your chin in, straight, straight arms. Deep breathing here. This is the joining of God and man, so deep breathing. Calming that nervous system down. Bring your hands in between your hip bone and your knee bone, about halfway down the femur, so you can incorporate that core. Inhale, lift up, don't come down. Look at your nose. Here we go. Ten breaths. One. Push the floor away. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good sit down, turn around. So, once again, in traditional yoga, we always flip our resting posture for two reasons. One reason in India, it's disrespectful to show the bottoms of your feet to a the table. But the main reason, for, in my opinion, is to change the energy of your practice from your practice to now post-practice. So be here for a few minutes and I will be in the front room when you're done. All right, you guys, so Cindy was the brave soul who was like, this is a great idea, I'm gonna film myself. So that was Cindy. This is Cindy's joint, you guys. She's, she's you guys know Cindy. Yes. She's on the channel a long time. I told you guys we know, we know each other yeah. in real life. So this is her joint. I did a little, before you got here, I actually filmed the whole, the whole place for everybody to see. And so, you guys, I'm gonna put all of Sacred Garden's information down in the description box below, so you can go to the website. Now, some of your classes are still on Zoom, right? You still have some Zoom yeah. spots? Yeah, so definitely. There's a camera over in the corner, guys. My classes are not on Zoom, and I know some of our people who did like a 30-day challenge really want a good teacher, and they don't have anywhere to go. So regardless of where you are in the world, if you look at Sacred Garden Yoga's website and mm -hmm. see when the classes are, the only class I think that's not on Zoom is my class, correct? I think so. I think yeah. that's the only one, actually. Yeah, so we, we have probably about... I don't even know how many classes, but there's probably at least 12 to 15 classes on the schedule that you can choose from in the morning and the evenings and different levels. Yeah. You know, some are more um, advanced, of course, but then we also have more gentle, um, uh, some yin-y, yin type stuff that... <laughs> next life. Uh, <laughs> next, next life. life. <laughs> <laughs> so next, that's our next life. <laughs> exactly. Um, 
Yeah, so the only reason why we don't put my class on Zoom, guys, is because Ashtanga is really kind of more difficult to teach mm -hmm. when a student's not in the room because some, so many things can go wrong. Um, and uh, But with Cindy's Got Classes, all of the other teachers, that's the cool thing about Sacred Garden is that it's kind of a hodgepodge of all different types mm -hmm. of yogas, not just one at AYA, the other place where I teach, it's just Ashtanga. So that's the beautiful thing about Cindy's place here, her school here, her mystery school, her shala, mm -hmm. is that you're going to find everything here. And so for our friends over there, all over Europe, Australia, you guys, I've heard you saying, I can't find a teacher, I can't find a teacher. Well, Cindy is an incredible teacher and her classes are on Zoom as well as some of the other teachers here at Sacred mm -hmm. Garden. Just make sure when you look on the schedule, we're on the East Coast. Exactly. So if you see, yes. a, if you see a class for like four o'clock in the afternoon, that's our time. So yes. choreograph that with your own time and stuff like that. Also, I had a request, I talked to Cindy about it, about me offering private lessons again. Mm -hmm. So. On Zoom, I'll put all that information. If you need me on Zoom, that's going to be a different price. But if you want to, if you're in the area and you want a private lesson with me, either here in Marietta mm -hmm. or in Atlanta, contact me. It's 200 an hour, and contact me, and I can meet you here in Marietta or in Atlanta, and we'll talk with Cindy. We'll work it all out. So that's going to be offered again soon. You do? Do you do private lessons? I do private lessons too. So yeah, but she's a great teacher. <laughs> so is she. So, yeah. <laughs> So check it out, you guys. And even if even if you're not really interested in yoga, this is a literal school. Mm -hmm. So it's not just yoga that's mm -hmm. offered. You do Reiki. Mm -hmm. Stephanie just got Reiki attuned. Mm -hmm. There's all sorts of different stuff you can do with Cindy on Zoom. Some are on Zoom. Some are off of Zoom. So mm -hmm. just check it out. I yeah. showed them the watermelon house next door if they okay. want to go Airbnb <laughs> to stay. The bed's a little iffy, but hey. <laughs> It's okay, I've slept, this I've slept in some interesting beds in India. <laughs> yeah. My first trip to India, there was bed bugs, and there was nothing we could oh do about it. There was nothing we could do about it, so, so it's all part of it. It's all part of the initiates path, right? So make sure you check it out, guys. I'm so grateful that Cindy was willing to practice this morning. Yes, I was telling her you got like a genuine, you didn't get an Instagram worthy Ashtanga. Bye. 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 You got uh, like a like a genuine practice there, so yeah. So he's got a you got a beautiful practice, but that's the thing. That's I mean I've said that before. My first trip to yoga or to yoga, my first trip to India that taught me something. I was like, oh, when I saw the famous teachers, and I was mm -hmm. like, that's why you don't put backbending <laughs> videos up on YouTube. I see, I see you. So we all have places we struggle. That's mm -hmm. the human body. That's the beautiful thing about the body. And as I've said on my my, I think I think you probably agree. Pretty yoga is boring. Yeah, pretty yoga yeah. is boring. You can see that anywhere, right? Yeah, I was like, <laughs> de Soleil does it better. So ugly yoga is what's fascinating. Exactly. But, but Cindy's has got a very powerful practice. So, so all right. Thank you so much, Cindy. Thank, thank you guys for watching. Bye. Check Cindy out. She'll be on the channel soon. So check her out, guys. Bye. Bye.